Today we are with Baby Boy Slime and it's a late night studio sesh. I'm a baby from the bottom, bitch, Lantana, where I'm from. I swear that trap gon' make you really be a villain. I'm a ICS, a nigga, I can never melt down. Why these people mad just because I be winning? All right, thanks for coming. Thank you, I appreciate you for having me. So the first question I have is, where are you originally from? I was born in New York and then um, I came out here to Florida when I was two years oh, old. So you're not originally from Florida? Nah, but oh, okay. I, this is what I claim though. But I claim, oh, okay. you know, I, you know, I got my people in New York too. You can kind of claim New York too then. Of course, both sides. Okay. Yeah. Well, you, you're in Palm Beach, right? Palm Beach, Lantana. Lantana. The biggest. Five, six, one. No. I'm from Palm Beach too, so. At the same time, baby. <laughs> I feel like people from Palm Beach always come up. Like, so, some people come up. Yeah, you know, it, it, it's it's tough because, you know, not everybody shows love. But if you get, you know, show love, I think it'll be easy to come up in the city for sure. Exactly. So how did you get the name Baby Boy Slime? Um, I had a I had a rap name that was ASG. It was Amani Slime Gang. Okay. And um, at the time, I was 15. I got flown out by Def Jam. We needed a marketing, marketed name. And mm -hmm. I had a baby face. I didn't have a beard. Okay. So Baby Boy Slime came about. and um, So they gave you the name? Well, we all kind of, you know, pitched in. I say more like my dad. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so your dad helped out? Yeah, for sure. Name? Yeah. Okay. So I know you you did tell me before that you you got signed early on, right? Like at an early age? Um. 17, 16-ish. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then COVID hit. Um, and like now this year, um, you know, we've been we we still standing strong. Okay. So at seventeen when you signed, like, do you think that affected your mental health or like affected you at all? A little bit, you know, just having everything paid for mm. all that other shit, you know. So you're just like, I can do whatever I want. It was a quick life change for a minute. I got a, I got a, like a little taste of like, of that type of lifestyle. Was it, it was like zero to a hundred? Like, Real quick. Really. Real quick. So how did it happen? Like, did they reach out to you? Like, what song blew up? Like, how did that? How did you get reached out? I think my pops played the biggest role in my career, so he kind of always tried to make chess moves in my career, and he found me a person that was willing to, you know, sign me. Okay. And um, we've been going ever since. You know? Okay, so, so your dad has really like been invested in your career? Yeah, man, like since I was 14 years old. Huh? So mm. did you want to be a rapper? Like he wanted you to be a rapper? I wanted to be a rapper. Um, I recorded myself. I've always micromanaged myself. Mm -hmm. um, and then when things started to get a little bit more serious, I got my, my peoples involved and they, you know, they did what they had to do. Um, okay. And it's just been, you know, it's been a family teamwork. Oh. Mm -hmm. So do you think that for artists it's better to have your family as your team or has it made like a like has it been messy mixing? Nah, I mean it's hard because mm -hmm. it's like my dad is like low, low key like a manager, but at the same time it's my dad. So it's tough for him too to look at me like as an artist and as a son. I'm uh -huh. his baby boy. Yeah. You know, I'm the only one yeah. that he got. So it it'd be tough sometimes, but I'll say it's better than just having anybody that you don't know at all yeah. to manage you. Um, so having family is definitely a better option. You could like trust him. For, yeah, exactly. Mm. So you rather have your family be your team? 100%. 100%. Okay. So does your dad make music too? He did back in the days, you know, he did okay. his thing. He, he did his thing, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He did his thing, but um, I've always looked up to it and I've always he's always put me on to certain people and and grew and grew me up listening to Big and a whole, whole other bunch of people, old school people, uh, for me to learn myself. And I kind of just got inspired by it. All right. And do you think there is a stigma of being a rapper? Uh, it's definitely oversaturated now. Yeah, the rap, the rap game. Everybody's trying to be a rapper every day. Everyone. Yeah, man. But um, it's just like kind of like a rat race to whoever gets a hit. Oh, you know? okay. That's just really what it is. So how do you think people perceive you as an artist? Uh, I don't know. Just, you know, a big guy from Palm Beach. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Trying to just take care of his family. You is know? there like a certain perception people have of you that you feel is not true? Um, no, nah, I don't think I, I put myself in that position, at least yet, for people to be 
um, second guessing about what yeah. I do or what's and going they kind on. Of, so you kind of put out an image that is just like what you want people to. Right. I mean, I say the only thing is like people think like certain shit was handed to me. Okay. When it when it wasn't, man. Like, you know, we went through so many long nights, long trips, mm. so many ups and downs, so many meetings, so many conflicts. Like, people don't really know about that side of the story. And one day I'll tell it, but you, you know. You don't want to tell it? <laughs> it's a long story. It'll be like some documentary type documentary shit. Documentary type? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so what is your least favorite part of being an artist and and favorite part? I'll say like, I guess the perspective that people have on being an artist. I feel like when you're an artist, everybody thinks you, you're this big guy and you're fucking got money and you rich and you know, that perspective, that narrative of being an artist, I just don't like that part. Um, but it comes with the game, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And, and to be successful in business, you gotta be uncomfortable. Yeah. So if I'm not uncomfortable, then I ain't doing it right. You know what I'm saying? What's your favorite part? <laughs> the ladies. The ladies. <laughs> well, it's there. Really? So is that why you're doing it? <laughs> nah, man. I'm just trying to take care of my family. That's my biggest goal. Okay. Just to take my people, man, to the top. I want my mom on the hills, man. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So do you feel like so a lot of artists say that they're like, oh, I'm trying to like, you know take my family, make my family, you know, like have money and all that. Do you think that being an artist is like the best choice to choose to basically like bring your family up? Nah, there's, there's a million ways to be successful, you know, but this is just, this was my route. Yeah. You know, that I feel like that I have the most talent in, like this is okay. my skill. So if you weren't an artist, what would you do? Shoot, I'd probably be a trapper. A trapper? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> What type in of the trapper? Streets, in the streets, <laughs> in the streets, being a street pharmacist. <laughs> street pharmacist. You know so, do you have any other passion? Um, shit. I don't know. I, I like music surrounds my whole life. Like music is everything to me. I really don't have no. I don't know. Like, there's really nothing other else. Type of passion, yeah. Really? Like, it's just music is everything to me. Like, it's mm -hmm. my life. So, yeah. what does your like normal day look like? Normal day. I wake up, I eat, I hang out with my people, go to the studio, probably go out for a little bit. I've been trying to stay out of the club. I see though. you, party boy. Yeah, I've been trying to stay out, though. I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying? Let's stay, stay low-key. Yeah, I'm trying to stay inside. I don't know, because you were talking about going outside today. Yeah. <laughs> so she I don't know if I trust me. that. She exposed me. <laughs> nah, but, um, you know, trying to, trying to work hard, trying to, you know, wake up and, and figure out what's the next move, what's the next step of my career, what I want to do. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, like, a lot of your days consist of creating music, writing? Yeah, well, I don't write my music. But uh -oh. I um I do listen to a lot of beats daily. I get beats sent to me every day. So oh, you don't I, write at all? No, nah, no, nah, I don't write music. You have someone else write? Nah, I freestyle. Oh, you freestyle? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, you just go and you're like, let me just... The beat, the beat sings to me. Whatever the beat says to me, I say. Okay, okay. Maybe you got a freestyle for us. Uh, I don't know about that one. <laughs> you know, I love you, but I can't do all that. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so what's something you wish you knew before starting your career? Um, I say being more into the business side of it. Knowing more about it. Um, so I can make better decisions, the right decisions to be more prosperous in what I want to be. Because in business, you make a lot of mistakes, make a lot of bad decisions. Yeah. So, but I've learned a lot mm -hmm. and I'm proud that I learned a lot and I'm aware of it. Okay. I'm so any like specific points that you wish you knew? Like, is it like maybe uh, certain um, numbers in deals or? Yeah, contracts, shit like that. You know what I'm contracts. saying? Contracts, had knowing the words on contracts, stuff like that without needing a lawyer. I would want to know it myself. Like, what yeah. am I signing? There's a book that I saw. It's called like, do you know the book I'm talking about? Which it's one? like, um, all you need to know about the music industry. Nah, I haven't seen that. One. It's like a book. It's literally for musicians, and it's everything you need to know about the business aspect of music. Okay, uh, I, sure I, I, I gotta look at it for sure. Yeah. I was like reading some of it, but I stopped because I don't make music. So I was like, why am I reading? <laughs> <laughs> Still, it's though, good to know. It's good industry, to know. The industry that that industry is good for me. It is. Know? It is. I'm definitely like involved, somewhat. You yeah, hundred percent. 
I, I like the industry, but I'm just, I can't rap or right. do that. <laughs> and what's an experience that's changed your life for the better? Um, my, my first hit, Agua. That, that, that changed a lot of things in my life. You know what I'm saying? And, um, I'll, I'll be forever thankful for that song. I, I ain't gonna lie, personally, I don't even like that song. Oh, you don't like it? Nah, but, um, I recorded it, I made it, and we put it out, and it, it's it's changed a lot of things. That was your first song ever? Nah, my first hit. My oh, first, first hit, like, okay. like uh, millions like of streams and radios and okay. all types. So why do you think that one hit and others didn't? I'll say marketing. Marketing? We didn't market other ones correctly. Okay, so you had like a marketing I have plan. a marketing team, yeah. Okay. And what is an experience that's changed you that doesn't have to do with music? Maybe just personal life? Shit. Family situations, shit like that. There's a lot of things that has changed. But you know what though? A breakup. Breakup. A breakup Heartbreak. changed a lot of things, man. It changed a lot of things within me, so. What has it changed about you? My actions. Um. The way I say things, the way I act, the way I talk, um, the way I treat, you know what okay. I'm saying? All those things have has had a toll on me, mm -hmm. but we in that midst of changing it. You know? Okay, in the journey. And I'm in that journey still. Are you dating? I'm not. You're not? Hell Single? no. Single? Single. And I'm celibate? not. I'm, hell no. <laughs> nah. Oh, you're not celibate, but nah. so you're kind of dating. I'm not dating. I mean, that's not dating. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean. That's not dating. <laughs> so that's how do you how do you go fun. about that then? Like you kind of just like have like side girls or fuck nah, babies. they just gotta be on the same time you on. And if you on that timing, then you know, <laughs> if y'all agree on that type of timing, then that's what it is. It's not. It's nothing bad with having friends with benefits. Okay. Honestly. Like, are you loyal to your friends with benefits? Yeah, oh. I say yeah for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Hell do you have yeah. like a like one friends with benefits and you're loyal to that friends with benefits? She's trying to trap me right now. <laughs> like, she's trying to play you right now. <laughs> I'm just curious. But yeah, nah, but if like that friend don't fuck with certain people, then yeah, you don't cross mm -hmm. that line. You keep it real. You keep that mutual. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And as an artist, would you rather have a normal girl or like a girl in the scene as well? Like I'd rather have a normal girl. A normal girl? Yeah. Why? Um, because I don't want somebody I don't want somebody that has the same type of career not career but like lifestyle as me mm. and because then you're because if too i'm busy? living like this you living like that Ooh. like if i could go to the club and get you could go to the club and you know what i'm saying like i oh. don't okay. i want somebody that you know stay down when i was down you know what i'm saying shit like that okay so you that, want her to kind of like just be able to do what you're doing in a way yeah that shit okay. it kind of don't make sense but it makes sense in my head okay you know what I'm i mean i get it i get it for sure so you wouldn't date a girl that's a rapper too? I mean, it's not something that I'll be looking for. If it yeah. happens, it happens, but it's not something that I'll be searching for now. Okay. You could be a power couple. Yeah. Beyonce, Jay-Z. I don't know, man. I don't know about that. <laughs> Have you ever had a normal job? Yeah, one time. One time? Uh, 15 years old, I was a cashier at Western Beef. Western Beef? Yeah. And then How I, is that? And then, I mean, I was a cashier, you know what I'm saying? Kind okay. of money. And then I got the call from Def Jam. That's when I had, I had oh. quit my job. I flew out. So you quit? Yeah. So when you got the call, how did, how did it make you feel? It was crazy. I, I was actually, um, I was coming out of school and I got the call. I was taking the city bus to work and I got a, and I got a DM. I'm sorry, I got a DM. I called my pops. He was like, oh shit, this has got to be real. They called me, they called my pops. And they bought the flights and all types of shit. It was crazy. And then you just didn't go to work? No, nah, I told I told my I told my I told my boss, I was like, yo, like I'm not coming back. Oh. I just got because they knew I did music. Okay. So I was like, yo, I got a call and I gotta go. And they they understood. They were like They understood, but they fired me. <laughs> they fired you. So you never got a normal job ever again? Hell no. Nah. Damn, nah, okay. It's been it's been pretty cool. Lit. And what's your go to studio snack? Um, I ain't gonna lie. I go to this one studio. 
I ain't gonna say the name, but I go to this one studio. They give you food for free. For free. Yeah, so they be have. They know when I come, they have wings there. What? Well, that's like my thing. Like if you got wings, there, it's, you're like I'm, I'm coming. Yeah. If you got wings for me. Yeah, they always got wings for me when I go. The wings is a studio snack. Yeah, what about sure. drink? Don Julio. Don Julio and Henny. I like the wings <laughs> sometimes. Okay. You know Do you like white liquor? I like both white, both dark, make. all that shit. I like whiskey too. Volcano, mm. my shit. And where do you see yourself in five years? Like, what's your goals? At the dream? top. At the top. Top of the top, mountain. Top of the mountain for sure. What Gotta are some be. like micro goals for you? Um, get my own house. You know what I'm saying, take my grandmother out of Section Eight. Okay. You know what I'm saying, move her out from New York, move her to Florida. Oh, um, and um, that's pretty much it. That's been my. That's like the top of my list. Love it. And get my mama house too. You'll get yeah. there soon. Less than five years. Yeah, for sure. And do you think that being an artist is hard to balance relationships with friends or Shit. women? Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Why? Because if she can't understand that I'm a, I'm not gonna be home at a certain time, mm. it ain't for you. Right, I'm gonna be home at four a.m., five a.m. You gotta trust me, and if you don't trust me, then it's no problem. Can she trust you though? Are you loyal? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm loyal. It's like a long, long time. To say nah, I'm loyal. You think rappers are loyal? Hell yeah, all them niggas loyal, man. What? Yeah, nobody cheats. What you mean? No, men nah, don't cheat. Nah, men don't Never? cheat. Never. Nah. Why you say that? Ah, trust. <laughs> Women cheat more than men. Mm. That's a fact. I'm lying. I feel like it's because women can cheat easier. Exactly. But guys women cheat more do than men. cheat more. 100%. No, women oh. cheat more than men. <laughs> women cheat more. Yeah, for sure. I don't know. I don't know that statistic. It's we gotta, we gotta trust. fact check it's that. It's a fact. Fact. Mm. It's a fact. I think men cheat though. Nah. Never. We loyal. You know what I'm saying? When we got a lady, we got a lady. Am I, I'm wrong? Uh, <laughs> I'm wrong? Wrong. Look, we gotta, look we at ask, them too. We gotta ask everybody else. You know what I'm Nah, man, men don't cheat. You hmm. gotta stay loyal to your lady. You know what, what do you consider cheating? Uh, when you got a girl and you know you're trying to you trying to you know get right with another girl at the same time. That's cheating for sure. Do you consider talking, like, talking, messaging, all that shit is cheating? Okay, so mentally, yeah. physically, all that is cheating. Okay. So. So you're just a loyal man. Yeah, I'm loyal. Good. Good. What's something people don't know about you? Could be like anything. Um, shit, I don't even know. Open book. Uh, I'm an addict to gambling. Oh, <laughs> I feel like I've seen some stories. You post some stories of um gambling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be in there. I'll be in there. You know, smacking the ass. How often you though. gamble? Huh? Uh, shit, I went last night, oh. and uh, I'll be there tonight. Oh, okay. And I'll be there the next day. Oh, so this I'll, is like a real addiction, like yeah. you're admitting right now. Nah, I ain't gonna lie, I'm real, <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm bullshitting. I was, though, from like, okay. so from last year, from January to like June, I was every day. Every day? Like, if there's 30 days in a month, I was there 29 days. Are you winning at least? I lost and won a lot. I probably lost more than I won, but... Oh, damn. They got so bad, I flew to Vegas just to gamble. Just to gamble? Yeah. Well, Did you come back with? I came back with like four racks, but. So you won? Yeah, I won, but it's like I was. It was that bad. So I'm going to Vegas soon. Where should I gamble at? Um, the Cosmopolitan. I like the Bellagio too. You do but, slots? Nah, hell no, nah, blackjack. Blackjack. Yeah, okay. blackjack all day. So how much you usually put in? Um, fifty. 25. If I'm feeling myself, I'll do 100, 100 in hand. You know what I'm saying? That's how you get quick money. Putting in 100? Yeah, for sure. And then you think like you get more back really fast? Hell yeah, but you could lose it too. So, you yeah, know, it's 50 50. Scary. 50 50. Hmm. So, you're going to stop your gambling addiction? I want to. I want to. <laughs> but um, it's just a, it's, it's, it's a different adrenaline rush. Like, it feels <laughs> good. You know what I'm saying? It feels good. But hell yeah. <laughs> And what's the craziest experience you've had while being a rapper? You asked me this last time and I told you. Was it about the groupies? It's about the groupies, baby. Ooh. When you go to a show, you know what I'm saying? All that, that's the craziest experience. When you got females rushing 
to the back trying to get with you. Come on, bro. Like, what's a better feeling than that? What's a crazier situation than that? I mean, exactly. So you're admitting that rappers aren't loyal. Well, if you're single, you could do all that. But like, what if you're in a relationship and then you have? Nah, I already told you I'll be loyal. <laughs> I told you this. If I had a girl, that's my lady. Even on tour, that's my lady. My. But would they even get into a relationship? Who? Like rappers. Like if yeah, they? Yeah, yeah, most dev. There's rappers that want to stay down. Like how you said, Jay Z, Beyonce. Look at young, look, you know? look, look at young Thug and Mariah the Scientist. <laughs> Man, look, man, all the rappers are loyal. All my niggas out there are loyal, man. We won't cheat on no females. Okay. You're just gaslighting everyone. No, that's a fact. <laughs> Who's someone you would love to collaborate with? A Boogie, Young Thug, Free YSL, and Kodak. Okay. So. And what are you working on musically right now? Um, everything. I wanna I wanna dive into Spanish um oh, soon. Okay. I'm just trying to perfect the 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 language. Like I know Spanish, but I don't know all the words. So I'm trying to perfect it 100% and the and the accent of it. And then when I do that, I'm gonna step into that lane. Mm, okay. And what keeps you motivated? Money. Money. Yeah, the root of all evil. What's mm. that? that shit keep me motivated, man. All day, chicken. <laughs> chicken. chicken. I love that song. How you say it? Each pockets filled with chicken. Pockets filled with chicken. That's baby from the bottom. Go stream baby from that. the bottom. Go stream. I go stream that. I'm man. telling you, I'm that song because I only have like, I have a gym playlist and that yeah. song's in there. Yeah. So like every day I hear the song. It's just hard, man. I love it. It is song. hard. I'm like baby from the bottom. So, <laughs> and what's some advice you'd give to upcoming artists? Bro, listen to yourself, man. Like. Don't listen to what everybody else is telling you. If a nigga telling you you ain't gonna do it or this ain't right, bro, listen to yourself. Bro. Only people you need to listen to are the people that's close to you. Your family, your dad, your mom, all that shit. Listen to that shit. That was my biggest mistake. I thought I knew it all until mm-hmm. I actually started listening. You know, open. You know, doors started opening. And a lot of mistakes happened when I didn't listen. That's when I would realize. I would only realize when I had when I learned the hard way, mm-hmm. and that was a problem. So. If you're an artist out there, man, just listen. Keep your ears open to those who's close to you, to those who's not close to you. Do not listen to them. Just keep doing what you got to do. Yeah. And what do you think for upcoming artists, like, is the best way to get their music out there? Instagram, boost your posts, do all that good stuff. Market, get a marketing team if you want to. Um, You know, dish your money into promotion, man. All promos, good promo. No matter if somebody got negative five followers <laughs> go do the interview go to that studio go do whatever those are those are that's that that's that one extra person that's gonna listen to your music mm-hmm. that's one extra fan yep. and if that person fucks with you he's gonna tell the next person or she's gonna tell the next person and you just create your fan base like that man and your don't, network yeah 100 percent. don't have no pride or no ego in this game it's not gonna get you nowhere Mm. I promise you that. So you be networking all, everywhere. I, I try to. I, I used to. I I used to not want to do it mm. when I had that hit and shit like that. I thought I was up here. I was really still down there, mm. and I would block my blessings. I would block my blessings. I wouldn't want to network. I wouldn't want to go do a show if I wasn't getting paid a certain amount. Like mm. that's all ego. ego. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. But, so what really snapped you out of that was heartbreak. Well, what? Sna- nah, what snapped me? What snapped me out of all that stuff was when shit started to slow down. Mm, so it humbled you. Yeah. And then that's when I realized I went through the phases of depression and a whole mm. bunch of other shit that comes with the game. You know what I'm saying? And um, that's when you realize like, oh shit, bro, I done fucked up. Mm. I really done fucked up. But I realized it and I'm proud of myself for realizing yeah, and being for aware sure. of it. Because like now if I get a second chance, Taking it. I'm, I'm taking it. I mean, I'm there's always a second chance. Nah, for sure. But I would want, I'm going to, I'm going to step smarter. Yeah. You know I'm, I'm going to act smarter. Well, now smarter. you're like older, more mature. Nah, for sure. Yeah, I was 17. You know, when you're 17 and you got cards and you got all this money to spend, that shit will fuck you up. Like, I would go into a store and I'd be like, yo, let me get this, 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 this. Now, when I could have been putting that towards marketing or mm. towards my own career, and I would spend all the money that the label was giving me on uh, other shit. You know what I'm saying? Trying to, mm. you know, 
So you're actually allowed to do that? Like you spend the money on anything? Well, yeah. Well, yeah, but we would just lie. Like, you know what I'm saying? I can't, really, I can't really say to her. Like, cause <laughs> I, I'm low-key like still on the contract, but. Well, do you have to pay them back? Uh, Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Eventually. Because I feel like a lot of artists don't realize that. They get signed and they're like, damn, I got 30 grand or whatever. And they don't realize that that money is debt. It's your money. Yep. No, yeah. Fine. But I was spending like it wasn't mine. Because it felt like it wasn't. Hell no. You know what I'm saying? You get it. You get that chicken, you spend it. You spend it, bro. Like, what are you going to do if I give you 150000 right now? But it's a loan? You don't know. You don't, you're not thinking that, though. But they told you that. But you're not thinking. You're, <laughs> you're 17 years old. If I was 17, I'd probably be broke. I'd spend it all in, like, 20 minutes. <laughs> it'll, it'll fuck you up mentally in the long run. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Because that, having that builds up ego. Yeah. Builds up a lot of ego. You think you're that man. You know what I'm saying? You think like, you're that damn. girl. Like, you, yeah. nobody could fuck with you. You yeah. can be replaced. I just buy somebody else mm-hmm. or pay somebody else to do what the fuck you doing wrong. I don't care about you leave. That's the type of shit I'll be doing, bro. Like I will replace people, man. Like that's just fucked up. That is fucked up. But like I said, I'm glad I realized and I'm aware of my mistakes. Yeah. Now, like, and I think that's all that really matters is knowing your mistakes and that's learning from. Nah, yeah, hell yeah. It's a learning experience. Hell yeah, man. It's just crazy, man. But it's life, life teaches you shit, bro. It does. So, I, you're you're spiritual, right? Um, a little bit, yeah. A little bit, yeah? Yeah, not for sure, I am. <laughs> like, how spiritual? <sighs> like, is it very important to you? Or? Yes, 100%. Um, I started being a little bit more into it last year. Like and um God, Christianity, or? Um, a little bit more to the extreme. To the extreme? Yeah. Oh, extreme. But, you know. What do you mean? I've been, I've been, I've been on my, I've been trying to be on my spiritual path, spiritual journey. When you say extreme, elaborate. (laughs) I feel like you don't want to like talk about it. The secret? Nah, but you know, yeah, like God and shit, you know what I'm saying? Just trying to get closer to my ancestors. Mm. Cause that's, that's who protects me. You do like ritual? Nah, nah, I don't be doing all that. No? (laughs) I'm just asking because yeah. you said you're very extreme. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, that type of shit. Oh, okay. And is there anything you want to promote? Um, yeah. shit, I should be dropping an EP soon. Um, I'm gonna put Baby Alien on the cover too. Baby so, Alien. Yeah, I'm gonna put him on the cover, so how'd you meet Baby Alien? We um went to school together, middle school. He's from Palm oh. Beach. Yeah, yeah. I knew him so, a while back too. We went to middle school together. Um, he he's always supported me. Um, throughout my career. Um, he's went to my shows. He's always been on stage with me, stuff like that. And he ended up doing his own thing and he's doing well, man. I love that little bro, man. I love that little nigga, man. Like, that's my dog, man. I'm proud of him. I'm really proud of him, man. It's really, I get really excited and really happy when I see people that I know with. Uh, I love him. So, but hanging out with him ain't easy. It's not. It ain't easy, man. Why? I stayed, bro, we hung out for like a month straight. It was the craziest month of my life, man. <laughs> she was insane. Listen. Why? Every day is something new. No going out or gambling. You know, certain, yeah, all that shit. So he's, he got, I got him into gambling too. Oh but, my god. Yeah, I got him into playing blackjack too. He don't go to the casino without me, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? that's my dog, man. Shout out to baby. Hitler. So you said um, you have a new song coming out. Yeah, I'm probably gonna drop an EP soon. EP soon. Yeah, I don't know the name of it, none, but. That's my plan. Top of the year, probably February, March. Uh, cool. So. Well, thanks so much for coming on. I appreciate you always. You know what I'm saying? Hey. The biggest.